Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Charles. Today we're going to be doing the first of our five part video series in building a cloud detection lab in Azure. So what is detection? Detection in cybersecurity is the practice of analyzing an environment for any anomalous activity that could possibly result in a network being compromised. So a tool that allows us to do this is a SIM, and a SIM stands for Security Information and Event Management System. This tool essentially allows security professionals to analyze log data from a variety of sources. So think your firewalls, think your intrusion prevention systems, think your identity solutions, maybe you have some resources in there such as a virtual machine or a database. All these things generate logs. And what we can do with the SIM is connect those logs to the SIM, and that will provide us a centralized location in order to analyze that log data. From there, we can write alerts, and the alerts will basically monitor for certain occurrences uh, that can be observed in the logs that could be indicators of malicious activity. And when we go in and investigate these alerts, we can determine the alert is a false positive, which means that we did the investigation and there wasn't any malicious activity, or the opposite, where it's a true positive. We did the investigation and we did find malicious activity in the environment. So in this lab, the SIN that we're going to be using is called Azure Sentinel. And a really cool thing about Azure Sentinel is that it's a cloud-based SIM. So in this lab, not only will we be getting exposure to using SIMs in general, but also uh, the monitoring and securing of uh, cloud resources. So if we scroll down and look at our lab objectives, some of the things that you're going to be doing in this lab is configuring and deploying Azure resources. So that amongst those resources are our SIM, Azure Sentinel, as well as a virtual machine where we're going to be generating logs and monitoring, as well as a log analytics workspace. So that's where we're going to be just sending the logs for storage and later connecting it to our SIM. We're also going to be implementing some network and virtual machine security best practices, uh, especially in the cloud. There are some considerations you have to make anytime you deploy a cloud resources. There's some security uh, implications of that. So we're going to be looking deeper into that as we progress through the lab. We're going to learn how to utilize data connectors to bring in specific types of data into Sentinel for analysis because we're gonna be monitor monitoring a Windows 10 virtual machine. We're gonna be learning about Windows security event logs as well as Windows security policy. And in order to query the logs to look for certain information, we're gonna learn about custom query language, um, make some basic queries to look for the information we need, and then write custom analytic rules to detect uh, certain Microsoft security events that could be indicators of some malicious activity in our environment. If we go further down in our documentation, this is the lab topology. So as you can see, when we get into our Azure, we're gonna create a resource group, which is simply a logical container for our Azure resources. Within this resource group, we're gonna have our virtual machine, our log analytics workspace, and Azure Sentinel. When we create this virtual machine, it's automatically gonna be associated with the virtual network and a network security group, which we're gonna to touch on more in the subsequent videos. In order to connect to our virtual machine, we will be using um, RDP, over port 3389. So that's just a brief overview of the lab. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.